In the summer of 1861, President Abraham Lincoln ordered a preemptive strike on the Confederates' newly established capital, Richmond, Virginia. Lincoln feared the South's army might try to capture Washington, only a hundred miles to the north. An army of 35,000 Unionists marched on Richmond as enthusiastic citizens followed behind to watch a battle they thought would last just a few hours. Meanwhile, in the South, the Confederate states were mobilizing and using the railroads effectively. The two armies faced off close to Manassas Junction, a railroad stop just 25 miles from Washington. For the South, victory here could speed up the siege of the nation's capital. This is the battlefield of Manassas, the first great battle of the American Civil War, known by the North as Bull Run. The Southern soldiers defending this plain from the advancing Union Army were significantly outnumbered. But they had a plan. The South's effective use of the railroad network had won the day. But the Confederate generals knew they would continue to be outnumbered and outgunned, and future victories would depend on getting troops to battlefronts quickly. Meanwhile, President Lincoln, reeling from his defeat by the South, realized the key to victory lay with these iron monsters.